Hi guys, Jessica here. I was tagged by OCD of books to do a book tag. Um, she is like my new YouTube swap tree friend and we message back and forth and she's awesome. So you should definitely go to OCD of books and subscribe to her. Um, so the tag starts with, if you could dye your hair any unnatural color, what would it be? Well, when I was a teenager, I pretty much had pink, um, orangey red in my hair. I had just pretty much crazy colors in my hair. Um, my cousin was a hairstylist, so I kind of was the guinea pig for new color. And um, I liked doing strange things like that. But um, I would like to have some sort of purple in my hair, maybe in October or something. I think she said that um, when my hair goes back natural, which is an almost black color, um, just put a little purple like in the bangs and such, um, just for the month, like a six washout kind of thing. Um, the next question is, favorite place to buy books? Um, I usually don't buy books, as you know, but Goodwill or Half.com. Um, I don't promote Amazon.com just because I have known so many self-published authors that have been screwed by Amazon. There's, for the last about three years, there's been a mass lawsuit going on with them where people would buy books from these authors and Amazon never paid the authors what they're owed. Um, so that's why you will never hear me say that I'm going to Amazon to buy something because I have not, I have boycotted that. All of my families and friends um, have boycotted Amazon since we were aware of that. Favorite song lyric. Um, there's this song that's from a long time ago. It's called Lullaby by Sean Mullins. And he, and the lyric is, and all her friends tell her she's so pretty, but she'd be a whole lot prettier if she smiled once in a while. I think a lot since I've moved out of my house and been on my own, I'm so serious. Um, I think it's just because there's a lot in my mind all the time. Oh, I gotta work. I gotta pay my bill. Am I gonna do this? And I can't. Can I go out? Can I afford to do this? Or, you know, and there's just so much stress to come with adult life. And I think that's why, you know, when I smile, when I get a book or something, it's it sounds so superficial and dumb, but um, it's rare for me nowadays because I've been feeling very stressed out. So that's my lyric. <clears throat> Okay, excuse me. Top 10 favorite YouTube stars. OCD of books. My girl. Check her out. Alex Reads Books 2010. C. C Kane 68. She is from the South. Or she lives in Texas. But she does makeup and beauty. She is just fly. She's cool. Uh, Glitter Eyes A2. Was, she's from Philly. She does makeup and makeup reviews. She was one of my first friends on YouTube. And she's awesome as well. Makeup Geek TV, Muffin Is My Lovers, Princess Annie 218, The Lady VLA, XOXO Amanda Kisses, She Does Beauty, and YA Fiction Freaks. Favorite YouTubers who deserve more attention? Um, I'm going to have to agree with OCD of Books, The Lady VLA, and I'm going to say CKane68. She does have a good amount of subscribers, but she is so funny. She starts her video, she'll be like, Hey y'all, how you doing? How you been? So, <laughs> I'm going to have to tell her to watch this now. Um, favorite musician YouTube YouTubers. I don't watch musicians on YouTube. Favorite awesome collab channels. Mine. Um, favorite movies you don't own? This was really hard to think of because, obviously, one, I don't have a ton of favorite movies, but I did realize that I don't have all the Muppet movies. I always love the Muppets. I don't have Muppets in Space. It's the funniest dang movie ever. And I don't have, um, what's the other Muppet one I don't have? Take Manhattan. I don't have Muppets Take Manhattan either. And then I don't have Sex in the City too, and I don't have 27 Dresses, and I like that movie too. Favorite TV shows? Okay. The only two shows that I watch regularly is Bachelor Pad, which is Monday nights, 8 to 10, Eastern Time, and it's um, people from Bachelor and Bachelorette um, competing, and it's like this guilty pleasure show. Um, and then I watch Big Brother. I don't know why I watch it. Um, pe some people are like, that's so boring. Um, and then I watch General Hospital. I'm really behind on what's going on. If I remember when I'm working or if I'm here, I'll turn it on. But I used to be, I used to watch it like every day or have to watch the episode. 
I usually watch The View in the morning. It's on in the background. And then if, other shows that I might watch on TV is Clean House, King of Queens, Everybody Loves Raymond, or any game show. That's what I watch. Um, and I watch Wedding Channel. Stupid. I don't know why I watch it. Sum up your childhood in five words. My childhood was um, enlightening. It was um, joyful. It was generous. It was um, educational. And it also was memorable. Um, I say that because, enlightening, because um, I only have one brother, and he was born with half of his brain damaged with the umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. Now, if you saw him out nowadays, you wouldn't even be able to tell he has anything wrong with him. He just uh, passed his journeyman's test, and he just finished four years of trade school. I'm so proud of him. You have no idea. Like, tearing up. Um, so, my brother and I are only 22 months apart, so when he was born, and he had a lot of problems, um, he had to go back and forth to doctors, he had to go to therapy, he had to go to occupational therapy, physical therapy, he had to go to mental health, you know, I still wasn't getting the attention that I really deserved at the time, so I had to grow up really fast, and I just learned a lot about myself at a young age, so that's why I say enlightening. Educational, because my mom always tried to use teaching in what we did, and we never realized it. Um, my mom is a teacher, a preschool teacher now, so it kind of was her calling. Like I've said before, she made books and reading a daily activity for several hours. We did a lot of art projects. We did a lot of just learning things. I learned to read when I was two and a half years old. And really, I learned how to read because when my mom was at the doctor with my brother and stuff, when I was young, I didn't want to go in there, so the receptionist would watch me, and I would sit there and read all the books that they had. Um, joyful, just because, honestly, nothing tragic um, really happened to me until I was maybe 13 or 14. Um, and memorable, just because there's so many great memories that I could share with you. Um, so I feel very fortunate. Um, generous, because although my parents did not have a lot of money. We did struggle. Um, they always found a way to make us feel special, and they always found a way to give, give us things, um, even when maybe they couldn't afford to. So I do love my parents and respect them because they are true Americans. The struggle, working hard to, you know, oh my god, I just had the journey song. Working hard to get my fill. <laughs> I'm such a doofus. Anyways, they're just living proof, you know, of hardworking people that are selfless and are just amazing parents. That's it. So I'm very fortunate, my brother and I. So thank you for taking me in this video. I hope you learned a lot about me, and I will talk to you guys later. Happy reading. Bye.